can we make a very low cost water activity meter for foods costing only $20? I was invited as a speaker to the 15th International Symposium on the Properties of Water, that is ISOPOW 15, which was held at Purdue University, West Lafayette, Indiana, USA. It was from 11 to 13 June 2024. This ISOPOW was honoring Professor Ted Labuza's contributions to the understanding of food material science and water activity. In that conference, my colleague Professor Vez Vandari mentioned to me, Shafir, you could make a water activity meter costing only $20. I asked him, is it? I fabricated one and tested its performance. Please keep watching this video until the end and you will find more on it. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel. I ordered a digital hygrometer or air humidity meter through the internet. Its cost is less than $20. I purchased a glass jar to hold the sample and the jar cap has rubber coating to make it a airtight when it is closed. In addition, I had Araldite glue at home. I am now showing how to make a cheap water activity meter. I made a hole in the jar lid and uh, that is the same as the diameter of the hygrometer T. I am now fixing the hygrometer inside the jar lid with a glue. Now I am putting the uh, Raldile glue In this setting, it mentioned the pack that it will set within four minutes. I will I'll put two times the super glue so that uh, we need to make sure there is no leak and after setting the water activity meter is ready to be checked for its performance. We could make a blank run first that is no food inside the jar. Close the jar with the lid. and turn on the humidity meter. We could see the relative humidity reading on the display of the hygrometer. The reading is now showing 48.13. That is water activity 0 0.4813. In order to check the performance of the water activity meter, we need to find its accuracy or error, calibration, standards, variability or reproducibility, sensitivity and stability. While I am checking the performance of the water activity meter, I would like to explain these terms clearly. These are important before using an instrument for measuring food properties. Now I am measuring the water activity 
of a saturated salt solution of potassium chloride. I am placing a glass bottle with saturated salt solution of potassium chloride. And then I close the glass jar. I need to keep recording the relative humidity. At equilibrium conditions, relative humidity is equal to the water activity of the solution. In order to maintain a constant relative humidity of the air inside the jar, the solution must be saturated. The saturated conditions could be ensured by a layer of salt crystal at the bottom as you could see. This way we could check the performance using saturated potassium chloride solution which is which water activity is known as 0.851 at 20 degrees C. In order to measure the sample water activity, we can again place the sample inside the glass jar and close with the lid. And recording the relative humidity over time. When it reaches at equilibrium, uh, then it is the water activity of the sample inside the jar. I have plotted the water activity reading of the air inside the jar as a function of time as shown. We observed that after 60 minutes the air was equilibrated with the saturated salt solution of potassium chloride. The reading at equilibrium was 0.726 while the standard value is 0.851. We could calculate the error as 0.851 minus 0.726 divided by 0.851 times 100 which is equal to 14.7 percent. Alternatively, accuracy is 100 minus 14.7 equal to 85.3 percent. Considering error of the measurement, we need to calibrate the water activity meter. Now we can understand error or accuracy and calibration. Error is a measure of how much deviation from a true or a standard value of the parameter being measured, while accuracy is a measure of how close one can measure the true value that is a standard of a parameter being measured. Error and accuracy are related, that is accuracy is equal to 100 minus error. Calibration is to adjust the reading in relation to a standard or reference. It is to minimize any measurement uncertainty and control errors by ensuring the accuracy of an equipment. How to calibrate a water activity meter? In an earlier slide, we used saturated salt solution of potassium chloride with water activity 0.851. The actual reading was 0.726. We can calculate a correction factor F as actual value divided by measured value. In this case of potassium chloride, F is equal to 1.172. We can determine the actual value if we multiply the measured value by the correction factor. In this case, saturated potassium chloride solution is a standard. If we want to measure water activity from 0.05 to 0.99, then it is important to know whether the correction factor is constant over the measurement range. In many cases, three-point or five-point checks are used. A three-point check encompasses a high, middle, and low range check. The five-point check is at 1, 0 0.75, 0 0.50, 0 0.250. 0. Many equipment has the option to press it to zero, that is make the correction factors adjusted automatically. We calibrated the water activity meter using saturated salt solution of potassium chloride 
water activity 0.851 sodium chloride water activity 0.754 sodium bromide water activity 0.571 and lithium chloride water activity 0.113 at 20 degrees C a standard or calibration curve can be developed by plotting correction factors as a function of measured water activity it would be very good if the calibration factor remained constant within the entire range if not constant it would be better to have a linear correlations in this case we observed a nonlinear calibration curve it is interesting to see that at lower activity range the measurement may not be very sensitive we measured the water activity of saturated salt solution of sodium chloride and the actual value was determined using this calibration curve the average value of five replicates was 0.667 with a standard deviation of 0.008 the actual measured value can be calculated using the correction factor 1.14 the actual water activity was 0.761 the error is 0.93 percent that is less than one percent without calibration the error was 11.5 percent this indicates the importance of calibration of this water activity meter now we could explain the reproducibility and sensitivity of the measurement reproducibility is a measure of the ability to reproduce a measurement using the same experimental approach it is commonly explained by the coefficient of variance which is equal to the standard deviation divided by mean lower coefficient of variance more reproducible the average water activity value was 0.761 plus minus 0.009 with five liquids. It was after using a calibration curve. Coefficient of variance is equal to 0.009 divided by 0.761 times 100, which is equal to 1.2%. Sensitivity is a measure of the lowest concentration of a material that can be detected by a given technique. Consider two weighing balances, balance A and balance B. Balance A can measure minimum weight of one gram and balance B can measure minimum of 0.01 gram. In this case, balance B is more sensitive. The sensitivity of water activity meter was 0.001 water activity unit considering the displayed reading however it should be assessed experimentally we measured water activity of fresh cucumber honey white rice dead fruit and dried wheat grass powder the sample holder and water activity reading are shown after one hour equilibration the reading was 0.8145 using correction factor 1.20 the water activity of fresh cucumber was 0.972. For white rice, it was 0.504. For honey, it was 0.484. For dead fruit, it was 0.295. And for dried wheat grass powder, it was 0.124. The product was considered within the nearly complete range of water activity of foods that is 0.9712 to 0.124 the stability is the readings independently performed on the same sample within a defined time interval that is with a unified process steps and under the same conditions it is a change in accuracy over a period for example, the difference of readings between today, tomorrow, and after seven days. If an instrument shows relatively low stability over time, then it is better to recalibrate the instrument every time. It is also considered as drift, which is a measurement error 
caused by the gradual shift in measured values over time. We measured the water activity of saturated salt solution of sodium chloride again after five days in order to see the stability of the water activity meter. The average value of five replicates was 0.789 with a standard deviation of 0.005. The deviation was estimated as 4.6 percent. Therefore, it is better to calibrate the water activity meter from time to time. In addition to checking the performance of a fabricated low cost water activity meter, I have provided an understanding on the accuracy or error calibration standard variability or reproducibility sensitivity and stability. This would help to use any instrument of an acceptable measurement of food properties. The take home message is that if you buy a low cost instrument or fabricate one by yourself then you need to check its acceptability considering the attributes as I discussed in this video. Thank you for watching this video until the end. Please subscribe to our channel if you liked this video.